What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today starts a new series called What's Hot Wednesday, where we take a deep dive into the hottest market trends in the Pokemon hobby. And today we're looking at none other than Surging Sparks, and boy, things are absolutely wild. My name's Jamie Mann, otherwise known as Pokemon, and I've started this YouTube channel focusing on Pokemon business and investing, and I'm bringing you guys along on the journey with me. And guys, don't forget, I'm giving away this 151 booster bundle as soon as this channel reaches 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed and then drop a like and a comment on this video right here. And once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll be picking one of those comments at random to be the winner. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you get involved. Also guys, I just wanna say a massive, massive thank you to anyone who subscribed to the channel already. I only started making videos a couple of weeks ago and the channel's already at 62 subscribers, which I know isn't a lot of people, but it's a huge, huge achievement for me, and I'm so excited to see how far the channel can go. If you don't already know as well, I've made a Discord server. A couple of you have already joined, and it's been great to have a chat with you guys and learn more about you, and you guys get to know more about me. But if you do wanna be part of my community, please consider joining the Discord. The link will be in the description, and yeah, I'd love to have you guys around. So guys, it's no surprise that today's topic is gonna to be Surgeon Sparks, because, if you don't already know, the prices are going absolutely mental. Um, and it's really interesting to see how some of the other prices of cards in this set are actually changing. Um, you know, some are rising, some are falling, and we're gonna look at these today. Um, but yeah, I mean, Surgeon Sparks has been out, what, five, five days now, or just shy of a week. Um, came out last Friday, it's now Wednesday. So five days, um, and we're already seeing some crazy movements in the cards. So if we look at the, uh, the Pikachu EX, obviously the big Pikachu that everyone's been going crazy about. Look at this graph, guys. It's insane. Market, most recent sale, £645, uh, sorry, dollars. And they're selling regularly at that price. Um, 645, 65, 630, 650. This is going parabolic. Um, we can see how it's been slowly uh, increasing over time as the hype is just getting higher and higher and higher. And guys, this card is incredibly hard to pull. SIRs in this set are incredibly hard to find. Not only are they hard to find as a regular SIR, if you want to get a specific one like the Pikachu, you're going to be really struggle, really, really struggle. Um, I said in a previous video, I think, that I saw pull rates uh, for Surgeon Sparks in a thousand packs, guys, a thousand packs. This Pikachu was pulled once. It is extremely short printed and it's extremely hard to find. And that's why we're seeing an organic price rise in this card. Like, look at the one month draft. You know, the, the, if you picked it up at pre-sale, people would have been like, no, 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 wait for it to come out. You know, it, it can drop off like the Greninja did. Um, but it's just gone up and up and up since then from, where was the first sale? The first sale was uh, $300, $300. And it's now up almost 100% to, you know, $600. This is insane, guys. And I, I, I don't know if this is going to go down. I really don't. Um, it could just be, you know, the new release hyping this card up and everyone's like, oh, brand new, shiny thing. Let's grab it, let's grab it, let's grab it. But it is, yeah, it, it's breaking all kinds of expectations that I think anyone in this community had, um, anyone in the hobby had. Yeah, I mean, it's good for the prices of the boxes. Uh, we'll look at the boxes a little bit later because they are still going up, which is... Good if you've picked some up. Not good if you want to buy some and you haven't got any yet and you want it for the for the holidays, for Christmas and stuff. But I had to just start with this Pikachu because, yeah, guys, we can see the price going absolutely insane here. Um, on eBay here, uh, you know, look at the UK market. We're seeing an Ace 10 for nearly 900 pounds. Um, yeah, nearly 500 pound card now, just raw. I've never seen anything like this. This is crazy. It's so funny to see, like, and you know what? When I saw these Pikachu cards, I didn't think they were all that. I didn't think they were that fun or they're that good, but I really like this card, and I do think it's a beautiful card. It's Pikachu. Um, did I imagine it going to £500 uh, five days after release? No way. No way. Um, but yeah, guys, this Pikachu is just absolutely breaking all kinds of records. Um, now, I did want to compare it, actually, here to the Greninja. So... We can see how the Greninja performed, um, you know, over its sort of course of the, of the last three to six months. Um, on release, it was actually higher. So it started off as a $300 card 
and it sort of started to dwindle down a bit as as uh, you know uh, interest wasn't as high and then we just saw this meteoric rise up to you know a new high um, but it's interesting to see comparing the two cards that this one started off you know it's three hundred dollars and it didn't go down at all it just went straight up whereas the Greninja started off as 300 it went down a bit before people started to, to realize the value of the card and it just went up so I'm not sure why this has happened. I think the difference in terms of interest in the hobby when Twilight Masquerade came out to when Surgeon Sparks came out, it seems to be a whole influx of new people that are just causing these prices to go parabolic. And I think that might be the difference between these two cards. The interest just wasn't there. And maybe the Twilight Masquerade wasn't the greatest set. And maybe that's why it took a little bit of time for the Greninja to see its price rise. Um, whereas, you know, Surgeon Sparks was loved straight off the bat before it even came out. The, the pre-order prices were going crazy. And that could be why there's a difference in how these cards have performed over the, you know, the, the first few days or, or months of their release. I know, uh, you know, Surgeon Sparks came out for a few days. But yeah, we did see the Greninja go down before it went back up again. Could we see the Pikachu then go down a little bit more in the future? Potentially. I don't know if this is going to stay a 500 raw card. Um... The only thing is the, the rarity and the scarcity of this card, and obviously it being Pikachu, it very well could continue to rise. It really could continue to rise. Um, but I think we should just pay attention to how this card performs. I don't want to talk much more about Pikachu EX, uh, this particular Pikachu EX, the SIR, because yeah, it's just a bit crazy. It's just a bit crazy. Um, if we look at the, the sort of full art EX, the Terra full art EX, we saw a little bit of a different performance here. We saw it sort of start off as a, you know, quite high, $35. And then it just sort of tapered off and went down really, really far. So if you picked it up around $18, $18 here, you're looking not bad. You know, 101 items sold between $13 and $70. So really, really cheap. It started to make a rise back up. And yeah, just it went all the way down, all the way back up again. Um, really interesting to see for this why it just went down. Um, maybe people weren't that keen on the artwork or, or something like that, I don't know. Um, but it's kind of stabilizing here, it's finding you know a, a new a higher low here. Um, I know it's only been out for five days, so again, we can't really determine where this is gonna go right now. Um, but interesting to see the graph and interesting to see how this performed uh, and you know, sort of went down and went back up again. Um, do I think this card's worth picking up? Probably not. I wouldn't be looking at this Pikachu EX right now. Um, I wouldn't be looking at picking up any of these cards at the moment. Um, I'd just give it a bit of time, see how the market, you know, uh, corrects itself, um, and just wait. If if the cards go crazy, you miss the boat, and that's fine. Like it, you can't do anything about it. But I, I just personally can't be buying into a market like this where it's so volatile, especially with all these singles. Um, and the reason, uh, this is the big reason for it, guys. Like this. Pikachu X, uh, the, the gold one, guys, it, it's up 200%. On pre-release, it was £35, $35, sorry. And it's just gone crazy. And gold cards have never really been that interesting. People have not really been that interested in gold cards. And this Pikachu is just breaking all kinds of expectations and all kinds of previous understanding of how these cards work. It's just cr it's such a crazy market right now. Um, the kind of craziness is all happening around the Pikachus. I'm not sure what's going on, but people love Pikachu now. Uh, I mean, people have always loved Pikachu, but look at Vivid Voltage. I know this isn't Vivid Voltage, this is so much better than Vivid Voltage, but that Pikachu, we saw it just bloody tank to zero. Um, whereas these cards, are, they're going crazy right now, 200%. Uh, um, see if these cards are selling. They're all selling at over $100, 130, 130, 130. Yeah, I mean, I think these hyper rare cards are really rare, to, like hard to pull as well. Um, not as hard as the SIRs, um, but it's so interesting to look at this graph and see how crazy this card's going. Um, we'll look at the Latias EX here. Um, this kind of had a similar reaction to the like the sort of this Pikachu. You can see these less popular cards. The, the Pikachu SIR and the Pikachu the gold one, just straight you know, straight up, straight up. Nothing going, nothing else doing there. But these kind of follow the same pattern. We see this really big hype at the start, so 220 pre-release price, and kind of just dwindling down. I think as more of the hype turned towards the Pikachus, less interest turned towards these other SIRs and these other cards, um, but they are coming back up again. I think what I think is causing this, right, is you've got these Pikachus going crazy, 
meaning that the interest in the Latias and the other Pikachus are going down. But then as these prices get higher and higher, people start to think this is out of my price range. Let's actually look at the other cards we can get here. So maybe let's buy the Latias EX here, or let's buy the regular Pikachu EX here, the regular Full Art. And we can't, we're priced out of these other cards. We're priced out of the Pikachu Gold. We're priced out of the, of the, the Pikachu SIR. And we're starting to see these prices go up a little bit. Um, just straight down, straight back up again. And it's nice. I want to see these cards go down. Like I, I love these other SIRs and they're just so expensive. Um, this Latias is beautiful. Um, last sold at 195, it's 227, 224. So it's starting to come down a little bit, but the hype is so high for this set, man. The hype is crazy. And all these prices are ridiculous. I mean, $200 for an SI. This is like $200 for the second best card in the set. And this would probably be in most other sets, the most expensive card, $200 card. The highest card we have is Greninja and, and Charizard EX. And Latias is close to those prices. Whereas Pikachu is just, it's gone. It's, 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 it's left them all in the dust. Um, again, the Alolan Executor EX. So this is a lovely card, it's such a beautiful artwork. It's got that gold border, which I really, really like. I think when you open a pack and you see that gold border and you're like, oh, what's that? Um, it's really exciting. Um, we can see this card start to fall off now. All the Pikachu cards going up, all the and the and the Latias going back up again, but this one's just gone straight down. Um, and it's interesting to see why this is happening. I don't actually know what's causing these prices to drop off. I think we could probably see the hype was really high, and then, like I said before, the Pikachu just made everything kind of fall to the wayside. Um, it'd be interesting to look at these graphs. What 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 the purpose of the video is is to kind of not tell you to buy these cards, not tell you to not buy these cards. It's just to look at the graphs and look at the market and see how things are doing after five days of release. And we can see these cards coming down now, but that's not to say they're gonna jump up in the future. Um, it'll be just really interesting to see how the market evolves with uh, Surgeon Sparks. Um, so yeah, the Executor, it's gone down. It's, it was hyped up at the start again. I know this was, this was one of the first SRs revealed, I think, um, from Paradise Dragona. And yeah, I mean, just settling down here at sort of the $50 range, lots of sales here. Um, and kind of settling at the $50 range, will it go back up again? We'll have to wait and see. Love this card. Um, and it's nice to see these other cards coming down because we want to be able to pick these cards up, guys, right? And I know that looking forward in the future, when we look back at these Surging Sparks cards, they're going to be looked back on really fondly because of just how crazy the market is for these cards. Um, so the Hydreigon, this is now, you know, done the same thing as the Olin Executor. The other SIRs are, are coming down and we can see that it's kind of, um, you know, settling down here at $90 when it started off as $120. So we're seeing a, a big trend, a big, you know, a big trend here of the non-Pikachu SIRs starting really high at pre-release and just coming down and just correcting a bit and finding a new higher low, uh, sorry, finding a new low and whether these rebound, yeah, again, like I don't know what's going to happen with these cards. I can't predict the future of these. I, I just have no idea. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on these cards, guys. I know this card again, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful card. Um, I love this. This is probably one of my Chase SIRs apart from the Latias. And yeah, we're seeing it come down and down and down and down and down. And I, I'm hoping it keep, I'm hoping it continues to go down. Um, it's obviously correcting a bit here and we're starting to see it level off. It's not going down too much anymore in the last few days. Um, but yeah, who knows what happens with this card? It's really interesting to see. Um, so the Latios IR, my number one card from the set, one of my favorite legendaries, love this card. Bit of a weird graph. Um, if you look at sort of the, uh, the Pikachu, we saw it go down a lot, then right back up again. Um, but the Latios, it went down a lot, up a little bit, and then came back down again. So it didn't have that quite as big as a, big of a, a rebound as we saw in the Pikachu, um, and it was, and what else, and the Latia CX here. We didn't see quite as big as a rebound. Maybe that's because it's an IR. Maybe they're becoming a lot more easy to find. You know, a lot of packs are being ripped. So we're seeing more of these on the market. Um, and that could be a lot of the reason for the other cards going up a bit. There's, there's more of them on the market. Um, uh, sorry, going down, there's a lot more of them on the market. So the prices are going down. They're more readily available. Um, and that's probably what's happening with this Latia. Being it an IR, a little bit more easy to find. You're gonna see the prices you know, obviously all the prices started off super high in pre-release and they've come down, come back up again. And yeah, we're starting to see it come down a little bit more. Whether it 
goes past this low here. So this was its lowest, this was $38. If we see it go past its lowest, we can probably see it start to go down a lot more um, and kind of find a new, I mean, $43 for an IR, I think is quite expensive. Um, I mean, I guess if you compare it to sort of something like the Groudon from uh, Paradox Rift, then um, yeah, you can kind of see that a really popular card with great artwork as an IR can sort of be in that $50 range, which I think is where the Groudon is. Um, and I do maybe see that happening for the Latios because it's a really popular uh, Pokemon. It's a beautiful artwork. It connects with the Latias. Um, so I do think this is probably going to go back up again um, and sort of settle around this sort of similar price to the Groudon. Whether it goes much more higher, which it could because of the, you know, the, the hype around Surgeon Sparks, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, again, this didn't come as high, but it's starting to go back down again. Um, so the Milotic, interestingly enough, this has just gone straight down. Um, there was a little bit of like a, a, pump, a, bump, a pump up here, but I'm surprised. This this was one of the, all the people that I saw were really hyped about this Milotic. Um, and it's just sort of gone down and down and down since then. I think, again, like the hype around in pre-release just causes these prices to start off really high. And I think where, our, where everyone's attention is on the Pikachu, these SIRs just aren't getting as much popularity as we first thought. Um, but the market does need a correction for these cards because they're starting off way too high. They're starting off way, way too high. And people are paying pre-release prices for these cards. Um, there are rare occasions where paying pre-release will pay dividends. For example, the gold Pikachu, if you bought it at 35, you're bloody laughing right now. But for me, I just think that the, the singles market is way too volatile to be doing something like that. And I prefer to wait to see how things go. And if there are cards that I think maybe are, you know, undervalued, then I'll start to think maybe I can pick these cards up. But it's not worth doing that five days after release because the market's way too volatile. Um, but I'm surprised to see the Milotic go down so much. I really thought this card was going to be one of the most hyped cards in the set, apart from the Pikachus, because um, it it's a stunning artwork. And, and Gen 3 Pokemon do really, really well. Um, again, the Lysia's Appeal, the Waifu card, uh, it started off as like $160 and it's just gone down, uh, you know, halved itself in price, down 51%, um, back down to 74. And yeah, we're seeing it sort of stabilize around 74. Again, I thought the Jasmine's, the Jasmine's Gaze um, SIR would be really, really, really popular, but it's not, it's a $33 card right now. It's gone, I thought this would be one of the highest, um, highest rate special illustration rares in terms of the support cards. Um, I think it's a really, really cool card. And again, it's just it's just not seen as much hype as the Pikachu. The Pikachu is just causing everything to drop in price. Um, but these are kind of the top single card picks that I want to run through. It's really interesting to look at the market here and see how they're performing. We can also look here, guys, at the sealed product. Um, yeah, they are still rising. The, the Surging Sparks boxes are still going up. They're now at $172 per box. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We are screwed, guys. We are screwed. Well, if you bought it at pre-release for a decent price, you're not screwed. You're looking pretty good. But yeah, it's 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 still going up. It's going crazy. It's it's $172. I don't see this slowing down. The reason I don't see this slowing down is because look at the price of the Pikachu, first of all. It's really hard to pull, which means more products are going to get ripped. The harder it is to pull, the more packs need to be open for it to be seen. People want to chase this card. I want to chase this card. I'm not going to because I'm I'm going to try not to degen and buy all these packs. It's just so I can try and pull a card that I'm never going to pull because realistically, I'm never going to pull this card. And that's what people are thinking. We're all we're all we're all being taunted by this Pikachu. We're all being like called like a siren. Come and get me. Come and get me. But we're never going to bloody get the Pikachu. But that's not what people think. People are like I'm going to get that Pikachu. They're going to see their box. They're going to see their case and be like, yeah, that Pikachu's in here, that Pikachu's in here, but it's not going to be in there. And they're going to have to rip more and more. And the more that rips, the less that's on the market. The less that's on the market, the higher the prices go. And that's exactly what we're seeing today, guys. $170 a box, $200 by Christmas, maybe $250 by Christmas. Until the reprint comes. And I think, guys, when the reprint comes, do I think the market's going to absorb it? I do. I think the market's going to absorb the reprint. And I think we're going to look at two to two fifty boxes by January. That's why you heard it here, folks. You heard it here first. Come back to me in January and tell me that I'm wrong and have a go at me, and that's fine. But I don't see the slowing down unless Pokemon are able to 
flood the market completely. And even then, I just think the demand is way too high for these boxes. And that's why we're gonna see these go up to like $200, $250 a box. Uh, yeah, quickly look at the, the cases, almost hitting a thousand. They're up 40% in the last month, 40% in the last month. I mean, well, I mean, I, last month, it's only been out for five days, but woo -wee! we're nearly breaking that 1K mark. We're nearly breaking that 1K mark. And once we do, oh baby, we're in for a world of hurt. It's crazy. It's a crazy time to be alive. The market's mad. Pikachu is a $650 card. I don't know what to say anymore, guys. I don't know what to say anymore. Pokemon, just buy Prismatic Evolutions. Just buy your Prismatic Evolutions. Ignore Surging Sparks. This set is done out here. We're finished. Prismatic Evolutions to the moon. Yeah, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, drop comments. Please join the Discord, guys. Um, I'd love to have some chats with you. And yeah, I'm out.